afternoon. Welcome back to some wonderful High School Ultimate. We have a tasty matchup on deck here with Northern Secondary out of Toronto, Ontario against St. John's Ravenscourt School out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. Both of these teams are powerhouses in recent years. St. John's winning the high school championship in 2011 and 2012, finishing second in 2013, and you won't guess who beat them. Northern Secondary winning the title that year, 2013. It's been a couple of years, but Northern is still seated number one. St. John's is in the same pool, hence our pool play today. And I believe they are seated number eight in the tournament. They just had a big win over Marshall McClellan Rebels. It was a tight game, but it was a very good win. So they're warmed up and ready to go. Northern, I believe, was on a bye, so we'll see how they come out of the gates here. Northern did have a little trip this morning. They did lose to the Marshall McLuhan Bulls, excuse me, Rebels, this morning. So a bit of an upset there, the number one seed losing, so they really need to win this game. That would be a big feather in their cap to beat the second-rated team in their pool. So Northern in red, taking the line. St. John's already on the line. They're in their white and greens. So we do have a little bit of sun. The rain has tailed off, but we do have some big winds right now. There are some flags in the distance that are just whipping right now, so we'll see how that affects the game. St. John's just played on these fields, so they're familiar with the direction of the wind and ready to go. Did see them put some zone on in the last game, so we'll see if they continue that here. Looks like we're ready for the pull. St. John's with the big pull downwind. Out the back of the end zone, that's a big pull. If they can harness that a little better, have it stop maybe one or two meters short there, it just slid out the back. They could really put uh, Northern in a predicament for starting at the back of the end zone here. So as always, as the game progresses, if you want to have some comments, you know, you can tweet at a portwine. Get a hold of me here as we're going through. Maybe breaks in the action. We'll take some comments or questions from out from our viewers. So Northern controlling the disc. Not much pressure from St. John's. Nice loose zone. Letting the wind do the bulk of the work here. Northern content, swing it back and forth, just taking one and two yards at a time. Slow playing it, but making yardage here. There we go. St. John's now swings around, puts some pressure on the handler. Rewarded with a turnover. Streaking to the end zone, going for the big point right away. Layout just misses. You can see St. John's strategy there. Big toss, going for the kill right away. They just played a full time cap game, hard fought game, so they may be interested in putting this way a little bit early so they can rest up. So Northern again, swinging the disc, being patient. Just two handlers content to work it here. The third handler sort of drifting up line. Maybe can get that couple yard gain if uh, defenders fall asleep. Nice loose zone from St. John's. A little bit of a reach in there, but no real threat of getting that. The zone is sitting off a good yard and a half, two yards. There's a punch through. The St. John's defender number 17 had taken the reach and got herself off balance leaving that little hole there northern punched it through but just turned it over in the swing st john's straight to the one one shot kill here at the back of the end zone just missed by the receiver so northern being patient watch it lots of touches on the disc but they're still not even getting close to half half field. 
This wind is brisk. They're going to have to work a lot to make up that ground. You can notice the handlers are still pretty close together. They don't even want to spread the field and go for wide swings just given the wind. You can see the disc almost flipped over there on a 8 or 10 yard swing pass. Lots of passing. Gained maybe 2 yards since the start of the possession. Very disciplined zone from St. John's, as I say that. A really risky hammer over into the soft spot. So just getting up to around the 10-yard line. So it's got to be about 30, 35 passes so far to make 10 yards, 11 yards. Really risky hammer over the middle. Now, as we said, this is a team that has a high pedigree in the high school circuit here, so... Maybe they will try some more hammers and risky passes. You know, they know they've got the skill. There's a low pass up the sideline, turnover. And a drop on the swing pass, good contest on the defender. So Northern initiating play here. Wayward swing there. Almost caught me off guard. Can only imagine the receiver. These swings going from near to far side as you're viewing with the camera here. They're really difficult to control. It's a good job by the handler there to make a couple of one-handed stabs on those swing passes. see just trying even a little three yard upline cut there the disc is still wobbly St. John's with one swing and then to the end zone this time great contest on the defender St. John's reels that in take a one nothing lead so Northern did well given the wind conditions there they did have the possession for quite a bit of time worked their way up to about half field but unfortunately, that was two or three turnovers on that possession. You can see the jerseys on the players just blowing in the wind there. That's picked up even since we were down there last game watching from the sidelines. So we'll see if St. John's can manage, manage the wind here. Northern's going to have first crack at it if they can score downwind without a turn, but should they turn, we'll see how St. John's manages going upwind. They've had pretty steady handle play in the last couple of games. I had the opportunity to go watch earlier today. They're having a good long team powwow out there in front of the line. Coach giving some last-minute instructions to the seven on the field. see the cones have just blown away on our field here so we no longer have end zone fronts of end zones <laughs> you can see in your background there someone volunteer grabbing those we do have the luxury of playing on a football field today so we do have the the lines going straight across the field so we can at least see the front of the end zone now it's just going to be the width of the field So there's the pull. Considering the wind direction, that was a great pull. So let's see if Northern can capitalize here. Going downwind. They're still playing the little swing game with their handlers. So the forehand turned over there. 
disc got sideways, the wind is now going as you view the field. It's coming from the near sideline to the far sideline. You can understand why that forehand got turned over. It's no longer an upwind, downwind game. So There's a sailing swing pass. Excellent effort. You could tell the player was looking at his feet there just to make sure he was staying in. So Northern on the one yard line. Let's see if they can punch this in. The upline cut was shut down pretty well. Stall count must be getting up pretty high. Big paw up in the air from the St. John's defender there. And there's a turn. Good contest on the defender. Ooh, that disc bouncing even on little swing passes. That one turned over as well. Even swing passes now are not safe. St. John's still content to play a little bit of a saggy defense. The marks are up tight, but off the disc, they're sitting back yard, two yards off of their check. A bullet upfield. Well behind the receiver. I'm not sure if that was just trying to gain some distance and get out of the shadow of the end zone, or whether that was actually a legitimate pass. There's a turn on the swing. You could see the wind. That just dropped by about a foot as it was going to the receiver's hands. So St. John's bringing it in on 3-4 yard line here. Looking to punch this in and capitalize on the... Tried a little pop pass. Just given the wind, that's not going to be strong enough. You really need to get a lot of wrist in this, a lot of spin, cut through that wind. So Northern putting it in play. A little bit of a punt down the sideline, rolled back on them. St. John swinging the disc, working up the near sideline. Good catch on the low throw there. High pass to the end zone. Tried to feather that in. Again, the wind is going to affect those passes if you don't put a little mustard on it. Good tight spin. I was tried to feather that in with a forehand. So Northern walking it up to the front here, to their end zone line. St. John's again putting the zone on. Handler for Northern giving some head signals, direction to the cutters. So St. John's collapses their zone here as they get closer to the sideline. All three players coming in. The cup is getting a little tighter. That could be a double team. You can see the strategy from St. John's. Out near the middle of the field, they play a little bit looser zone as it gets to the sideline. They're coming over to pinch off the space for the offense. Get the turnover here as they try to center the disc through the cup. And it's a goal. Little question on the footwork there, but goal for St. John's. That one could prove very valuable if the wind goes back to the upwind-downwind game instead of crossfield. That would end up being the upwind direction again, so... Northern maybe needs to hope for a crosswind to stay for a few more points so they don't get the wind going against them as well as St. John's. Northern looks like they're sending out a 
few of the same players that just played the previous point. So we'll see how this strategy works for them. With this win, there wasn't a whole lot of running, so they're probably not as tired as perhaps in a normal day. Yeah, the full line for Northern went back out, play a second point, second consecutive point. St. John's coach making full use of the time between points here. A lot of instruction, a lot of talk to his line. It looks like they've uh, left the same line on the field as well, or the bulk of their players. So both teams may be playing their power lines here. Players are getting a little less tired from, you know, playing zone, a little less running with the wind. So that pole went just past half field. You could see the wind hung that up about halfway through the to the landing zone. There's a downfield put for Northern. Just drifts out the sideline short of the receiver. The downfield cuts are probably going to have to be a bit shorter. Just given good strong crosswind here, it would be tough to hit those. little skip pass that popped right up to the northern player so they could fast play it. Nice grab over the middle. Good stab. Excellent throw through that wall defense. That disc just sailed. Receiver made the one-handed stab, just couldn't quite reel it in. Good active marks from Northern. It's good low hands on the mark for Northern as well. Wind like this, you want to keep your hands low. Force that handler to throw it up over your shoulder. You know, chest, shoulder height above your arms. It'll get caught up in the wind. There's the turnover on the swing pass. See if Northern can work this. Walk it up yard by yard right to the end zone. Good safe hands there from the handler in the middle of the field. Northern doing just that. Taking a yard at a time here. Swinging back and forth. You can see the handler. He stepped forward to take another yard. Low throw into the turf there, but... See if their defense holds up here, and there it is. Unforced turnover for St. John's. That was just an unfortunate drop. The disc turned a little with the wind. So Northern, right at the end zone line. Let's see if they can get this half yard, punch it in. That's going to be a goal. Pass up the field. So Northern rewarded with a point. Battled hard for that one. Two to one for St. John's. I don't expect this game to get to be more than two or three points spread at any time. Both are strong teams. They'll make the adjustments to whatever elements they're facing here, no matter what the wind does or how it changes. Good, strong programs. Looks like there might be a new disc coming in play. Might add a little taco on the previous catch there. No, nope, that disc is going to be put down on the sideline as our cones have blown away. Yep, or they're replacing the front of the end zone.
So I just received a message from one of our viewers from the East Coast. We here in Ontario call this an extremely windy day. This Newfoundlander said it's just a bit breezy, so clearly they're more adapted to this type of game. Maybe this is why I don't venture out to play on the East Coast. So both teams have rotated a few other players, but you can see that the handlers have remained the same. So I think both coaches having full confidence in their primary handle group here. Both teams with this type of conditions. Northern's been doing a good job with the two handlers they have. Swinging back and forth, a lot of possessions. St. John's has taken a little bit more of a vertical game, but their handlers have also done a fairly good job. So see if this pays off for the coaches or if they'll end up switching up the handle groups after another couple of points. And <laughs> you can see there a little foot tap to try and stop the roll on the pull as the disc go all the way across the adjacent field as it got popped sideways and the wind caught it. So the team's just trying to come to an agreement where the disc actually crossed the sideline there. Disc is in play. St. John's with a high pass. Good retrieval from the cutter. Got up there good and high. Turf the disc there. Maybe that goes back to the old adage. Good catch is never followed by a good throw. Beautiful catch over the defender. It's unfortunate the throw a couple yards short of its target. So Northern, swing pass, that popped up in the air. Good aggressive D. Was that number six? I believe that was with the D. St. John's starting to go downfield a little more. A little vertical here. Excellent concentration in the middle to make that catch with a defender laying out. Just overthrown from a couple yards in, in front of the end zone. You can see the northern handler holding the disc up to see which way the wind's blowing, catching the catching the air in the disc, give him a good feel for where it's coming from. High release, and that's unfortunate the result. All the way out the far sideline of the far field. These coaches may have to speak to their players. This is gonna be a no high release kind of day. Everything's gotta be low and driven. Oh and there goes our Discraft sign. Discraft Ultimate, very good sponsors to us. We have a number of signs around here and some other goodies they've provided to us. One of them just went whipping down the field. One of the players caught it just before it got into camera. Sorry, Discraft, that could have been some nice advertising going right through the middle of the shot for you. St. John's, getting the disc back in play, going for the goal. Excellent toss. Good safe catch. So that's 3-1 St. John's. You can see many of the receivers here using two hands, getting their body in front of the disc. You know, in case it misses their hands, it'll at least hit them in the chest and give them another chance to make this catch. That's exactly what the receiver did there. Played it safe. Just watching Northern here, walking from their bench. It's the same. Wouldn't do the same three handler core going back out there. Oh no, we have a late substitution, so their their primary center handle coming off for the first sub of the game. She's been rock solid in the middle out there. 
So I don't know if this is a rest for the coach or maybe just trying a different strategy, different personnel, see what the result comes out to be. St. John signaled they're ready to pull. Northern accepted. And the pull is off. It was a good low driven pull. Even got a little bit of roll. Got five, six yards past half. Seems to be some discussion. Zone is back on. Going downfield. Big throw. Big D from number 34. It's Sean Bennett from St. John's. I think he's played every point this game. He's been handling for St. John's. That was a big D there, getting the big mid up in the air. Forehand goes for... Gets turned over in the wind. It was a nice throw through the cup. Unfortunately, just sailed. So Northern, right on the goal line here. Up line cut, closed down. Got the nice swing pass. The stack is scattered everywhere. Driven throw through. Receiver just too hot to handle. Almost had it on the second attempt there. Northern has the zone. Oh, that throw hung. It went over the intended receiver, but good concentration. Number 29 followed that up to make the catch. You can see the, the handler, Sean Bennett, you can see him. He's putting extra snap, extra spin on that disc now. I think he's caught on from a couple of his earlier incompletions. Really focusing on his backhands, having good tight spin. See about his first forehand here if he gets that extra extra snap into it or not. Excellent toss. Handler swinging it to the middle. St. John's working downfield. Going for the kill. That disc up, down, just died. So you can see this is going to have to be a controlled short pass game. St. John's worked it down with, you know, five or six shorter passes, but that longer 15-yarder to the end zone. And as I say that, Northern's going for the big one. Oh, defender stuck his hand out and ended up tipping it back a little farther. You can hear the benches out <laughs> the field side groaning over that extra five, six yards given up. crashing the cup trying to thread it through the cup easily getting a hand out there to knock that down so northern swinging the disc can tend to lose a few yards but get it centered see St. John's are starting to collapse that zone a little bit, knowing the swing is going back toward the middle of the field. So Northern gained about five yards of that six or seven they lost on the initial dump pass to center the disc. A little tip on the disc and that just pops up into the wind. St. John's sailed again there. That looked good for about 80% to the receiver. Just popped it up over his head in the wind.
Northern going again for the big one. Great run from the defender. He was actually out of position and beaten. Made the run and stepped between both offensive players to get that D. Good job. Staying focused. Putting on a little bit of the afterburners there. Nice tight zone on the front of the end zone there. Good forehand. Good tight spin on that. Cut right through the wind. Backhand sailed a little. So Northern walking over to initiate play. Content to just walk to the disc and take their time. So Northern goes for the end zone. St. John's just boxes out. Content to let that one float out of bounds. High stall count. I think that was just getting rid of the disc. Stall eight or nine. Ended up gaining about eight or nine yards. So maybe not the desired result, but it is some yardage gain, and Northern is on the sideline. So let's see if they put this zone on, trap the sideline. Big D. Defender in the end zone. Step forward. Slap that down. Crash in the cup there. Nice little shovel pass forward to the handler. Good retrieval on the swing pass that was floating. Another good concentration to haul in the last one. Unfortunately, the disc got thrown away again. A little go and throw. Cut the nose of the disc up as he was starting to run with it. Run forward. So Northern, fairly static in the end zone. No movement here. The cutters need to move and give an option. Handler had next to no options on that. Must have been getting up to stall seven before even anybody moved in the end zone. Northern wants to punch that in. They need to create some space. So another high stall count. Yardage gain. Thankfully we have some good sideline support here chasing the discs and running them back otherwise we'd be spending an awful lot of time chasing these discs Northern goes for the long pass to get St. John's back at their front end zone you can see St. John's running it to the line to fast play this trying to catch that zone off guard so that looks like a foul no uh Oh, now they're discussing. I was going to say no no argument from the defender, but maybe just figure out where that count is. There's that high release from uh, the handler again. That thing had Callahan written all over it. So again, Northern, a little bit stagnant in the end zone here. Excellent layout catch. Don't know that that was the intended receiver, but great job to follow that up and stay with it so that is now three to two for St. John's here we've collected our Discraft signs. One of our wonderful volunteers bringing those in so they don't blow down the field and inadvertently hit a player or spectator. We do have one down there. I can see St. John's has been smart and tethered it down with their water jug, so 
clearly they're enamored with this craft. They have the sign right at their bench. Some good ingenuity there. I'm sure the sponsors really appreciate that. Should be sending a shout out to VC as well. They were here and had set up their tents earlier and we had some high winds and a downpour that their staff braved out. By the time the rain finished, they had moved inside, so they got half soaked. But VC is here always supporting our championship events. Well done. And there's the pull, a nice low drive on that pull. Good distance. Probably the best pull so far today. St. John's, good in cut, forward pass. The zone from Northern starting to overlap a little bit. There's a high release to the end zone. Is that going to stay in play? That sails out of play. Good flat throw. Just unfortunately the high release again getting caught up and just floats. If nothing else, Northern is going to have to work the whole field now, so St. John's can take some solace in the fact that they got 40 yards of distance out of that. So Northern putting the disc in play here. Handler goes for the punt. And a deflection off of one of the St. John's players' heads gains about 10 or 12 yards with the, the roll. So maybe that pain is probably worth it for a 10 or 12 yard gain. So the handler again going for the longer pass. I think that was a higher stall count. That zone had taken away most of our options. So gain a couple of yards out of that. 25 yards. There's a good good piece of defense on the in-cut there. So oh, almost got that on the tip. Excellent layout opportunity to try and save that. So St. John's is going to get the disc right at the start, right at the front of the end zone. Let's see what they set up for an end zone play here. So they've got their vertical stack set up. Five yards deep in the end zone. open spot. Disc just died on that. So St. John's definitely looks a little more organized in the end zone there, setting up a vertical stack, running a more formal play, whereas Northern were quite stagnant and looking more for the handlers, I think, to work it between them and maybe work that upline cut into the end zone. Cutters were fairly static, so that could come down to being the difference. There's a tip off of the Northern player's hand. The wind takes that back into the end zone, so this will be St. John's disc at the front of the end zone. Vertical stack set up again. Upline cut. And a nice easy open side cut off the front of the stack. Good diversion from the handler. Drew one of the poach defenders over to the closed side. And we are sitting at 4-2. to two. That was a good-looking end zone play from St. John's. feel like we should be handing out some hair elastics here. I can see some of the young ladies that have longer hair. It's even in a ponytail. It's still blowing around into their eyes. I noticed one of the handlers earlier shaking her head quite a few times just to get the hair out of her eyes as she was catching the disc on swing passes. A 
at my advanced age, I don't have much hair left, so I'm not quite sure what that what that's like. But I'm sure it's quite annoying to have the hair blowing in your eyes as you're trying to scan the field for some receivers. So Northern has got some substitutions on now. Looks like they're rolling through their bench. I see only one or two of the regulars in the first four or five points. St. John's as well. Looks like they've dipped into the bench. They're finally given a few of their players a rest. They've played every point up until then. So It's good both coaches dipping in, making sure everybody on the bench gets out there and plays. Especially in games like this, you never know who's going to step up and maybe change the game for you. Big throw toward the end zone. Over the shoulder basket catch with the disc on that from the defender. So that zone is really tight. Handler utilizing fakes really well. So the handler there, I think, was going for the big put, but he wanted to go uh, I.O. through the cup, and it just stayed low. Still got some pretty good yardage, but maybe not quite what he was looking for. Downfield run there. I think he would have laid out if he wasn't at the sideline. Pretty much had to take the running stab to keep his feet in play. So Northern getting active with that zone. There we go, a little taxi in the backfield. And desired result right there. Interception as they tried to go through the cup. A little bobble there from the, with the wind. St. John's with the swing. So the handler trying to throw back into the wind to make that swing. And that swing as well is into the wind. St. John's taking the punt approach. Not sure if that was intended since the handler looked like he got a shout from the sideline, maybe looking over at his coach there. His coach might not have wanted that. Northern sure looks like it's a purposeful play there. One and done punting as the every time they pick it up. Looks like a little bit of an injury there. Muscle cramp, maybe, or Charlie Horse. Both players going for that long toss. I think he might have just got clipped in the thigh. Groin or thigh there. It's up and moving all right. So. Yeah, maybe a pulled thigh muscle from the looks of it. And disc is back in play. One lone handler here in the backfield. A little miscommunication with who was popping into the cup there. Popper kind of kept the cut going to clear into the backfield. Handler thought he was going to stop. Hammer into the end zone. Catching quick play from the St. John's defender, number 19. That Jordan Steele. Excellent job not to waste time walking it up the line. Catch it quick, play it. See if you can catch that D off guard. There we go. St. John stringing together a few quick passes, working it upfield. Nice catch on a low swing. So they're on the wind side of the field now. The trick is going to be can they swing it back? Easy work of that. Upfield, just out of the defender's reach. St. John's look like they're in control of this disc now. Having their way. Good control. 
Playing safe. Big catch just in front of the end zone. Excellent grab. Defender all over him. Gets up there with one hand. No options. Calls the timeout. Must be fairly high in the count. That must have been about a four, five, six stall count before the timeout was called. This has been probably the best point of the day so far for St. John's. Controlling that disc, great swings. Still getting a little bit of vertical distance out of it. So if you're on Twitter watching this, at a port wine, send me a tweet. If you have questions, comments, we've already heard from our Newfoundland brothers that it's just breezy here. We shouldn't have a problem playing in this weather. Both coaches taking an opportunity here during this timeout, getting some good round of instruction in here. Both teams huddled around their coaches. With some weather like this, it's actually can come down to coaching. There's a little more strategy in the game, playing the wind, whether you punt, don't punt, slow play it. You know, sometimes on clearer days, just simply the more skilled or better team wins. Today, wind like this, either team has a chance to win. Coaching strategy can really factor into that quite a bit. So, St. John's is three yards out of the end zone. Northern putting the zone on. Will crash into the cup there for a one-yard gain. And a throw through the cup for the goal. You can see some of the northern players hands on head. They can't believe they gave that up. So five to two for St. John's. This game is fifty minutes old already only 5-2. There's not going to be a lot of points scored, so Northern can't afford to let this get any further out of reach. You know, these are long points being played, so Northern needs to hang one on the board right here, I think, if they have any chance, any hope of keeping it close. See how well this pull works. Wind has changed again, so it's sort of with this pull. Still going across the field to the far side as your camera looks, but see if the uh, puller actually angles us toward us here in the booth and toward the camera so that it loops back into the field or whether it's going to get caught by the wind and end up next field over. is off. Good pull. Turn the wrist over and cut that into the wind. Wow, that swing pass was dicey. Good solid wrist snap. Just that wind is all over. So Northern has their two main handlers out there. Good read on the D. Just laying out between the handlers. St. John with the high release to the end zone. Nice casual one hand grab in the end zone. There's the quick hitter. 
gets us up to six too. So Northern hasn't been able to get that vertical game going. St. John's was just sitting on that swing pass between the two main handlers for Northern. Those two handlers have probably had about 70 or 80 percent of the touches for Northern so far. Just back and forth, 10 yard swing passes between them just waiting for an opening. They just have not been able to get that vertical game going. St. John's I think has realized that now and is starting to poach into that lane and just wait for those D's. Northern coach out on the line giving some more instruction. St. John already has the line taken, just waiting. The pull is off. Low pull. Gets over half. Great roll. I got about 15 yards on the roll. Northern going downfield. Big D from St. John's there. Just swat that thing out of bounds. Clearly he didn't want to handle, didn't catch it. Nice throw through the cup. Got the disc centered now. Will say I'm very impressed with St. John's. All of their handlers utilize fakes very well. Get that cup moving. Give yourself a little better chance. Turn over there. The throw got turned over in the wind. So Northern, right at the front of the end zone here. Handlers just swinging it back and forth. They're gaining enough yards one at a time. There's the goal. I don't think St. John's quite realized they were right at the front of their end zone there. That was a nice, easy swing pass for the goal. So Northern puts a fairly quick one on the board, which they needed to do. Northern secondary trying to take a fairly quick line here, get the game moving so they have a chance at catching up. They've got one short on the line here. There we go. One last player getting out there. St. John's coach having a word there, making full advantage or taking full advantage of the time between points up three right now, so I'm sure they don't mind burning a bit of the clock. Northern is probably the team that wants to get this thing going. Northern, just getting ready to pull here. Disc up, accepted by St. John's. Short pull, unfortunately. Bit of distance gained with the roll. So St. John's starting. 20 something yards, there's a a face block unfortunately those ones smart but looks like it got her in the forehead so that is a little better than eye and nose thankfully got some good support out there I'm guessing these kids are warriors. I'm sure in another minute or two she'll make 
some joke that she got the D and it should be on the stat sheet. Just looking to get the disc back in play here, sorting out who was where. So Northern, putting the disc in play. There's another Poach D on the swing. Same, same defender as last time, number 37. Blaze Cunningham. That's a couple of great reads just to get in there and just barge his way between the handlers, essentially. Perfectly executed German into the end zone. Defender was completely looking at his mark, had no clue where the disc was. Well done from St. John's to take advantage of that. Great recognition and a great throw from the handler. Seven to three for St. John's over Northern. Just looking down at the sideline for Northern, the young lady that made the head block on the disc there. Definitely looks like she got in the forehead, just has an ice pack on the crown of her forehead there, so thankfully it wasn't eye or nose. Looks like she'll be all right. Probably play again in a couple of points. So half time here. You can see all of Northern huddling around their fallen comrade there, giving her a little bit of high fives and encouragement, which is great to see. Looks like she's having maybe a laugh with her teammate there. So that's good. St. John's team seems pretty loose on the sidelines there. There seems to be a lot of bantering and joking around there, some hand gestures, whatever. They're enjoying themselves. Why shouldn't they be? They're up 7-3 on one of their prime competitors in the tournament. Coming into the tournament, Northern, ranked number one. They did lose their first game today to uh, Marshall McLuhan, Headed up by coach Gareth Colley. He's done a great job working with them. I had the opportunity to watch watch them uh, play against St. John's Ravencourt here just before this game started, even though they lost by one or two. It's a great result. Gareth, good job. You've done well with the kids. You guys look like you're the dark horse story this weekend. You sneak into the power pools here and maybe make a run for a title. On the other side, dare I say the R word, rebuild for Northern perennial powerhouse out of Toronto you know winners of a number of competitions the past few years you know the surprise loss this morning looking like they're in a tough spot this game right now I mean they could be 0-2 in pool play after this I'm sure it's not where they wanted to be nor where they expected to be but having said that, I'm sure they will be back next year. That program has been strong for many years, and I don't see it changing anytime soon. St. John's, out of Winnipeg, one of the leaders in the strong youth movement out in Winnipeg. Great juniors development out there. They have been in um, all five Canadian high school ultimate championships thus far. Two firsts and a second. They're looking pretty strong this year again, so more good results. I don't see this team or this program going anywhere in the near future either. St. 
St. John's on the line. Northern sending out some of their stronger players again. Got two or three of their main handlers out there. Looks like a couple of new faces as well. So this is good, getting a few more new faces on the field, get the bench involved. So Northern, a couple last instructions amongst themselves. Ready to pull. St. John's, receive. It's a good flat pull. Looks like it just went out of play, maybe at maybe the 50 or 48 yard line on the field here. So, not quite half field on the pull. St. John's starting from center. Northern with their cup zone defense on again. Swing pass out of the reach of the receiver there. Wind just carried that one. That swing pass was with the wind. Some good spirit there. St. John's returning the disc to Northern. Big downfield punt. Went out the sideline. May have a foul call here. See some discussion back where the thrower thrower is. I'm not sure if they're pointing where it went out of play or whether it's a foul discussion. Looks like it's northern disc. They're just locating where it actually crossed the out of bounds line. There we go. So disc is in play. St. John's with a good three-person cup there. High release dump to the backfield. Wind completely knocked down that swing pass. So those handlers are going to have to be five yards apart if they want to swing it across the field, especially against the wind. St. John's working it down the field. Nice swing to the center. Swinging across into the wind. Good job. Good job there. Trying two shots at that one. Neither one of the receivers can come up with that. As the wind got the better of that one. Good effort though to get it. a couple hands on it. Excellent shoe top grab there on the swing pass. Receiver was straddling the line. Didn't make the catch, but even if he had, he was straddling the line. So St. John's bringing this in at the seven yard line just in front of the end zone. Good tight. Good tight cup there. Was a definite double team, but not called by the handler. A lot easier to see from my elevated vantage point and with the yardage markers on the field. Northern getting a little vertical game going there. Good job by the handler to actually play the wind. Swing across the field, using that wind of St. John's. Is <laughs> oh, bobbled grab, bobbled that a couple of times. Northern with three handlers in a pretty close proximity in the backfield. St. John's defenders are just a step 
slow on getting these. They're so close. They're making the right reads, just aren't getting there in time. Crash in the cup. Swinging across the field with the wind. So St. John's, now that they have the northern handlers on that far side line, this is where they'll want to really clamp down. To throw off that sideline into the wind, whether it's a swing or downfield, is going to be very tough. So St. John's knocking on the end zone door here again. Content to lose yards with the dump pass, get it centered. You can see that was a open-handed clap for the receiver just dropped right out of his hands. Got the nice clean clap. <laughs> so 7-3 for St. John's. They have the disc again. They are 20 yards out from the end zone. Big high release. Just not going to work today. And that disc is 50 yards down to the edge of the property. Thankfully there's a chain link fence there to stop it from going onto the main road. And it looks like the other field's disc is also there. Placement disc has been brought in. Game disc is much too far away to play. So a hammer from the handler there. It actually looked pretty good. Was able to cut that into the wind. Receiver just couldn't quite corral it. So a tip from the intended receiver, St. John's, with the catch near the back of the end zone. That disc may have went off the northern player's head from the looks of it. He's holding his head. Not sure if the defender clipped him or whether the disc actually banked off of his head. Either way, St. John's comes up with another point on the scoreboard. Northern player is having a good laugh as he's walking up the field, so I'm guessing that disc must have banked off of his forehead and to the St. John's receiver in the end zone. <laughs> Get to see a little bit of everything here at the fields today. I guess those are the types of things that happen when you know it's not your day. Take the hit to the head and give up the point on the deflection. So that young man has gone and grabbed the ice pack from his friend who got hit in the forehead earlier on in the game. <laughs> Good team sharing. Good pull. Nice roll on that as well to get some good distance. Northern going big. Overshot the receivers. Easy D for the St. John's deep defender. Northern might have a little more success on those if they just hold off for an extra one or two stall counts before they let the big pass go. I know it means the defenders may be down there, but I'll give him a chance with the receivers. Give the receivers a chance. So we have a call here. I see a reenactment of a foot block, so defend. It's either a foul or a foot block here. St. John's picking up the disc, so I'm guessing the foul call. Disc coming back in play. So turnover at the 10-yard line. No 
northern, the swing. These two handlers, they can just keep swinging it. They're gaining two yards a pop here. Went to a straight dump that time. Dropped the disc. It's a nice flat throw. Unfortunately, just missed the receiver. It's a great looking throw. So Northern again. Nice one-handed stab from the handler. She's been playing very well all day. Looking end zone. Couldn't quite turn the wrist over enough there to get that to hook back in play. Still gained some yardage. St. John's on about the 3-4 yard line. Ah, it's a foot block. No chance of foul call on that one. Definitely other receiver out of the handler's hand. Great foot block. It's nice you could see the northern player take a moment to celebrate it. Felt like he had one a few minutes ago. So northern walking this back to the front of the end zone. Given the score and the time, they may want to be running that to the front of the end zone next time. A low throw into the end zone. Layout from the receiver, but just not able to get down quick enough. And then here we see St. John's with the lead. You'd think they would want to burn the clock a bit. They're running it to the front of the end zone. Fast play in the game. Handler's right on the sideline here. And there's a hand block. You can see that one hurt a little bit. I could hear that all the way up here, even through the glass of the broadcast booth. So you can imagine that knuckle is going to be sore. Nice pass. Threaded that one into the end zone for the point. Northern puts the fourth point on the board. Only down four now. Might want to fast play this as best they can. It's going to be their only chance to get back in this. You can see some celebration from the Northern players there for the hand block. He's showing exactly where he hit his hand there. Gets a little love from his teammates. Well, on a positive side, the flags are no, not at uh, full stretch now. Still some wind out there, but not the gale force winds we had 10 and 15 minutes ago. So maybe the last few minutes of this game we'll see some good vertical play here. Good pull from Northern. One of their better pulls of the day here. Here we go, starting up. Big swing from St. John's. Nice tight zone there. That's a double team again as well. High stall count. I think that's a high stall count punt from St. John's. Northern running to the disc this time, fast playing it. low throw on the swing. Unfortunate, they needed that possession. So St. John's calmly looking for the swing pass into the end zone. Excellent run down from third receiver down there. 
Good strong hands, two on the disc, reels that in. So 9-4, St. John's has the lead. I believe I just heard the horn there, if I'm not mistaken, for time cap. I did. Teams are lining up, so 9-4 is your final. St. John's out on top. They are going to finish first in their pool. Northern has lost two. And Marshall McLuhan lost to St. John's just before this, so that locks up first place in their pool for St. John's, so they're where they expect to be. Northern, 0-2, not quite where they expect to be, and we'll see if uh, Marshall McLuhan can come through with another win later today. We're going to take about a 10 or 15 minute break. We'll be back with Bowmanville High School versus Kelvin out of Manitoba. We we'll hope you join us in about 15 minutes.